Hello friends, welcome to a new watercolor tutorial and I am Vanidas Mangapil. In this tutorial we will make this uh, simplified streetscape. Uh, there are not a lot of elements. We will take a more complex reference image and we will see how we can simplify that reference image to this uh, form. Okay, so I will explain the entire process uh, during the video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and press the bell notification icon. I will be releasing more and more videos every week. So without further ado, let us go into the video. So this is the reference that I have clicked uh, in an early morning. Uh, there wasn't much light and there are a lot of complex elements and a lot of elements uh, that are blocking. So we will, we will try to make a very simplified drawing of this and I feel that uh, the, the yellow bus is uh, as an interesting element and there are a couple of people. So we will focus on these two and we will make it into this particular form. right? So we have retained the yellow bus and uh, we have added a couple of uh, figures and the rest everything we have simplified it into uh, very monochromatic uh, I mean washes okay we, we, we will describe all those process as we proceed with the demonstration okay I have used a, a cold press watercolor paper and the size is uh, roughly uh, A4 okay it is slightly lesser than A4 and uh, as you, you can see from you could see from the reference it the we were uh, kind of focusing on the main yellow bus school it's actually a school bus it's a it's a school bus and uh, we, we will we, we are trying to retain that as the main element and i will be drawing only that one so i am focusing just on the geometric shape of that it is a sort of a cube in perspective it's a sort of a rectangular box in perspective. Uh, I'm just focusing on drawing that because that being uh, the the main element, we need to draw that with a reasonable amount of accuracy, right? Rest everything we will be just uh, painting. We will not be focusing on the drawing. Okay, so this drawing seems to be good enough. Uh, I'm just I'm using a, a dark. HB uh, pencil here. Usually I draw with uh, 2B pencils. Okay, and I'm also just uh, maybe uh, uh, sketching, just scribbling or marking some major shapes. This could be the kind of the tree. Okay, and uh, this is not an accurate drawing. Okay, I I feel yeah this much drawing is good, and uh, rest we will we will do with the watercolors. Okay. Uh, if you if you if you are following along, you can try. I mean, making this drawing. And uh, if you have if you have the habit of uh, drawing more details, please feel free to do that. Okay, this is one way of doing it. You could do. I mean, in your own way. But this you can take ideas from this. So I am wa wetting the paper for the top half. Okay, from just from this point upwards, I am wetting the paper. Uh, so that uh, we can do wet on wet treatment for the the top portion and the advantage of wet on wet is we can avoid lot of details a lot of things will start merging together and the shapes will merge together which will uh, i mean free uh, us from uh, providing for the details we don't have to give a lot of details if you are going for wet on wet okay now we are applying the wash for the sky and I'm using uh, a bit of cobalt blue here and the paper is wet so it is spreading uh, we will mainly use uh, blue for this particular uh, work it is sort of a monochromatic treatment um, I'll be using a mix of uh, say cerulean blue and cobalt blue and for the darker versions I'll be adding more of uh, painish grey okay Right, I think uh, the, we, we, we are getting a soft light sky now and uh, we can now give a little bit of background 
slightly darker wash and that wash should suggest the entire background okay so see we could we could define lot of details but we are trying to learn how to make it very very simple so the idea is to make it very simple so this single shape this dark shape should represent the overall background okay the far end the the farther details and we are leaving white space for the bus uh, because there we are going to apply orange yellow color okay so we need that area to be bright white uh, so that the orange or yellow color will really pop up uh, i think this much is sufficient for the foreign background and we need to now think of uh, creating the tree okay so for the tree we need to use little darker tone i am mixing this same cobalt blue and uh, maybe a little bit of uh, peonies gray and uh, we will make a darker version of it we we have to judge and you have to understand that uh, watercolor is gets lighter when it dries so we need to we need to mix the colors little darker than what you think is uh, suitable so we have to make it slightly darker i think this is not as dark as i really wanted uh, i'm adding adding little bit of blue and uh, peonies gray would have been better if you are following along uh, you could make it even slightly darker i am using a mop brush uh, i think it is a uh, uh, skoda ultimo brush number maybe 14 and uh, the approach for the tree is making some distinct uh, edge leaves as you can see and rest of the tree is a major wash a big wash so that way we can simplify the trees i think we need little bit more darker tones at the uh, bottom area so i am mix taking more of uh, peonies gray and uh, less of blue so that it gets a little bit more darker and it is somewhat close to actually dark gray uh, i think uh, when it is dried things will look good now i feel that it is little bit more darker but uh, don't worry too much about the colors okay so i am worrying about the edges because that needs a little bit of contrast the bus and the background should have some contrast so i am little careful about the edge of the bus and uh, apart from that i am not worried about the 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 edges okay so i think this much is sufficient for the trees and uh, later i will uh, we will splash some water to create some texture on the trees i think now we need to look at the bottom area and uh, this again is peonies gray mainly and uh, uh, i am making some road okay so this i just wanted to be within the uh, feel of uh, being monochromatic okay so i i don't want to add too much of uh, colors i wanted to just use some adjacent colors to the the blue that we have started with so the blue and basically paints gray you could always add some uh, additional colors like uh, orange or red or etc but still i mean we i, I feel that uh, for a monochromatic approach we should still uh, i mean limit the colors to within blue since we are going for blue here right so i, I have splashed a lot of water here so i just uh, i mean dip my finger into the water container and just splashed it so you can see where the water droplets fell on the tree lot of textures are getting now created so now it is fully dry and you can see that uh, some interest is created around the uh, water i mean around the tree right i think that is sufficient for the trees we could do more details but i am not going to do more details on the tree and i am giving yellow wash for the bus now i'm thinking whether uh, it should be a flat uniform wash or i should we should vary some colors i think i should vary some colors within the yellow uh, rectangular box for the bus 
I, I think we will have to go for some color variation, right? You can always look at the reference at the which I have shown uh, in the in the at the beginning. Okay, maybe you could take a snapshot, screenshot of that particular reference, and you can compare it. I'm adding a little bit of reddish orange uh, to create some texture. Okay, some not texture, color variation. Uh, I think we will leave it at this point because for any further details we need it to dry. Lifting some color for the back rear rear mirror, rear glass, uh, so that later we will be adding some blue. Now it is dry. I have just skipped some part of the video. I waited the shape to get dried and I am painting the side wall of the bus with a slightly darker color. When I say slightly darker color, I have mixed some complementary color to the yellow orange wash. Okay, I think here we will define the back, the rear glass of the bus. Okay, and uh, we will let this. This is the first wash. I this I will I will I will wait for this to get dried, and once it is dry. I will add some more details, uh, darker tones for the glass. Okay, I think we are uh, we are getting uh, some of the geometrical shape more clear. Uh, some some details for the for the school bus. Okay, these are maybe these are the tail lamps, and uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Now let us make some figures and figure drawing, uh, I make, I'm just suggesting the figure and I am using a Chinese calligraphy type brush. This brush has a good tip and uh, it's a soft round brush with a good tip. So if you don't have a calligraphy brush, you can use a soft round brush uh, which has a good tip Okay, and uh, which, will, which will allow both with uh, the detailed painting as well as some washes. Uh, if you are finding this video, video informative and if you are finding something to learn from these videos, uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, press the bell notification. I will be releasing more and more videos every week. Also I would request you to uh, show some support by sh liking it and uh, sharing some comments. Okay, so if you have any questions or suggestions on how to improve these videos, tutorial videos, please do let me know, write, the, write them in the comment box. I will surely look into that. So we have the basic shape for the bus and couple of figures now. Uh, let us add little bit more details on the bus because uh, uh, we have simplified rest of the things. We need to retain some, some amount of contrast and interest uh, for the bus. Okay. So we, we are taking this as an example, Which, whichever reference you take, you have to identify some elements that will be the focal element or the prime elements and for those you need to give a lot of uh, contrast in terms of sharp uh, edges, in terms of colors and in terms of clarity. Okay, so we have to, we have to give uh, contrast uh, for the focal elements or the prime elements. Okay. Now I think uh, these uh, these are pretty reading pretty convincing now, and some some details uh, to add a little bit more uh, contrast. And I think we are pretty much done with this. Okay, uh, you can we can give a lot of uh, I mean uh, tiny details, but I I would be primarily interested in defining it to certain level and. Uh, then I will, I will leave to, I mean, uh, this suggestive form. Okay, I think this much is uh, sufficient. I'm just thinking, should we add something more? I think this is already reading uh, reasonably okay, and uh, we can leave the form, the bus like this. Okay. You, you, you can also take a call if you think uh, you need more details you can feel free to do that but uh, the if you can give sufficient suggestivity uh, with the lesser details I think it's a good idea to go with the lesser details.
now this uh, this gives some kind of a uh, some kind of uh, a contrast for the back for the foreground mm. and uh, this also helps the the way we are washing the road now this also shows some amount of uh, mm. play of light some shadows and it also helps in getting some depth i think we are getting some depth on the road now so we were just uh, trying to uh, uh, make some contrast it is not very sharp it just very light now that the road feels good convincing uh, i'm adding uh, some maybe maybe another guy riding a bike riding a scooter okay so if you look at uh, if you remember the original reference you can uh, check out check them you can go back and check it uh, there was uh, some some people i mean riding the scooter so i am just creating a silhouette for the scooter riding guy and uh, this is again a simplified version okay so we we are just focusing on the shapes i feel that something uh, darker uh, objects some some darker objects can be at the right side to to suggest that uh, there are some sort of uh, buildings that is not very very uh, i mean it, it is these are not very uh, i would say these are not very important one in terms of details but i would still want to suggest them as some uh, some visual elements uh, to aid the the composition that's it so uh, i am not worrying about the details at all it is just a kind of a shape with slightly darker tone uh, to help uh, the the composition okay now some details for the figure okay i'm just adding some uh, yellow i mean uh, the orangish faces uh, so that these figures will look uh, i mean little bit more believable that's it some 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 uh, colorful uh, touches uh, okay yeah i think uh, i think i will uh, uh, i will stop it i will not go for too much of details here yeah i think those figures are reading good i'm just touching some uh, white watercolor on top of those figures to add some more uh, highlight so these are watercolor whites uh, not gouache or any other thing these are some white watercolors chinese white directly taken from the tube without diluting okay i think these are now getting sufficient uh, highlights uh, and uh, we can treat it almost as done so let us let us uh, draw some directional lines which will add to the sense of depth so this this these lines on the road will add to the sense of depth okay this is drawn in perspective i feel that the right side line could have been a bit more slanted okay but it is still okay uh, some highlights here and there so you you can think you can you, you can try where some highlights can help uh, i think this is uh, sufficiently done and uh, we can stop it here at this point okay so thank you very much for watching this video and uh, uh, if you have any questions or suggestions please do uh, write them in as comments to this this video and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and uh, we'll see you uh, in the next video bye bye